So in this video, again, we're going to look at uh, calculating some partial derivatives of some functions just to get a little bit of practice. So we have 3x squared e to the 2xy. As mentioned in previous videos, the biggest thing is when you're taking the partial with respect to some variable, so if we want to take the derivative of g with respect to x, we need to think of y as a constant. So this becomes a constant. We treat it like a constant. 3 is a constant, y is a constant. So 3y will be in our derivative. We'll treat it like a constant. Here's the part we have to take the derivative of. x squared e to the 2x. Now that is a product and is going to require a product rule. So we're going to hold the first part, leave it alone. So leave the x squared alone times the derivative of the second part, which is e to the 2, 2e to the 2x. <coughs> That's using a chain rule. Plus, now we're going to hold e to the 2x constant and multiply it by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. And there's our partial with respect to x. It's not pretty, but we're able to take it. Um, we can simplify a little bit. What all can we pull out of here? We can pull out a 2 and an x and an e to the 2x. So pulling out a 2, so that becomes a 6y x e to the 2x times x plus 1. Now we're going to have to take uh, the partial of this, the second order partial with respect to x, so it might be easier to multiply this x back through and just leave it as 6y e to the 2x, and you'll see why when we get to it, x squared plus x. Save us a little bit of work on our product rule. That was a little bit of work. You're going to find this next one is actually pretty quick. The derivative of g with respect to y. That makes this a constant constant. So this whole part is a constant. So we're taking the derivative of a constant times y, which is just a constant. So because the derivative of y will be 1, so this is just 3x squared e to the 2x. And there's our partial with respect to y. It's done. All right, now our partial is Let's do our second orders. Partial of x with respect to x. This is where I said it would be easier to write it in this form. Once again, 6y is a constant, and I'm going to need a product rule here. I would have to do product rule twice in this form up here, which is why I went ahead and multiplied it back in. So I'll hold e to the 2x constant times the derivative of x squared plus x, which is 2x plus 1, plus now I'm going to hold x squared plus x constant times the derivative of e to the 2x, which is 2e to the 2x. We'll see if there's much simplifying we can do. Uh, we can pull an e to the 2x out of each piece. I should have put that in parentheses because the 6y was a constant. So I have 6y e to the 2x, and then we'll have Right here, we got to distribute that 2, because we're going to have a quadratic left. We'll have a 2x squared. We'll have a 2x plus another 2x, so plus 4x plus 1. And that's going to be as far as we can go with the second order with respect to x. g sub y, y. Well, there's no y term in g sub y, so it's a constant as far as we're concerned, so its second order partial is 0. Now let's look for our mixed order partials and make sure they come out the same. g sub x with respect to y. So here was g sub x. Now we're taking the derivative with respect to y, which makes everything in terms of x a constant. The derivative of y is, is 1. So we'll have 6e to the 2x times x squared plus x. All right, let's confirm this. We're going to do g sub y with x. All right, here's our g sub y. We need to, we're going to have another product rule here. So I've got 3 times x squared times the derivative of e to the 2x, which is 2e to the 2x, plus, now I'm going to hold the e to the 2x constant times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Factoring out what we can, I can pull out a 2, 
that's going to make that a 6. I can pull out an e to the 2x and look at what I got left. I have x squared from this one plus an x from this part. They check out.